Welcome to AI Search. I'm your host, Alfie, and today we're going to talk about ChatGPT plugins. If you're writing a blog or making a video, and you want to read an entire PDF and borrow the key points for your content, there's a plugin for that. If you're a college student and you need to do some research and your deadline's tomorrow morning, there's a plugin for that. If you're a startup founder and you want to do some in-depth research for a new product, there's a plugin for that that lets you tap into a library of over 40 million high quality research papers. I just want to mention that this feature is currently only available for paid users and the subscription costs $20 a month. I'll be showing you how to use some of these plugins, but there are hundreds of them. So be sure to explore the plugin store yourself. But before we get started, please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon for future updates. Now let's get right into it. As you can see, I am on the paid plan at $20 a month. So this means I have access to GPT-4, which is a smarter version of ChatGPT. And also it has access to the internet. So it has browsing capabilities. So if I ask the normal chat GPT, that is GPT 3.5, a question, let's say about anything that happened after 2021. So if I ask it, what happened to the Silicon Valley Bank in 2023? It's, it can't give me a good answer because as you can see, it only has information until 2021, September 2021. So we're going to ask it the same question, but this time we are going to enable the browse with Bing feature. So I've noticed that the web pilot plugin works better than the browse with Bing feature. So I'm just going to show you how to install a plugin. So as you can see, like once you click on GPT-4, you see a little box here. And if you scroll down, you get the plugin store. So once you click on the plugin store, you can search for plugins. So we're going to look for WebPilot. So WebPilot is your friend when it comes to searching for anything on the internet and giving it to GPT. So yeah, we've done that. So let's do something interesting, right? Let's ask it the same question. What happened to the Silicon Valley Bank in 2023? So it's going to search the internet. So as you can see, it's using the plugin and it's, it's searching the internet. And there you go. See, it figured out the dates. It's all very accurate. The bank collapsed, all those things. So that's something you don't get with the normal chat GPT. But we're going to take this a level further. If you want to dive deeper into the content of a video on YouTube, for example, let's say this video, how to build an MVP by Y Combinator has Michael Siebel speaking. What you can do is you can give ChatGPT the transcript of the video and you can teach it the content using the transcript and that will help you to have a conversation with ChatGPT about what's on the video and you can drive insights from that. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the link of the video. So you're going to go here and copy the link. And then we are going to ask ChatGPT once we've enabled these plugins, use the VoxScript plugin to learn this video and give me key insights from it. So let's see. So as you can see, it's using the plugin and boom. It's collected some basic information about the video, like how many people saw it, who's speaking, and now it's giving the key insights from the video. So it's fetching this part by part. So no matter how long a video is, 
this plugin is perfect because it's just going to break the video down into different parts and do this process over and over again. So you're not going to miss out on anything. See, it's giving examples that were used in the video about Airbnb and everything. So in case it stops, you can just ask it to repeat, regenerate, or continue. You can teach it the contents of a YouTube video or a long course that you don't necessarily have a lot of time to watch from start to finish. So use VoxScript to teach that GPT and give you the key insights or the key points so you can learn faster. Now let's let's try the next plugin. So that's VoxScript. But what if you want to study an entire PDF online and you don't have a lot of time, you're on a deadline and you're supposed to study a PDF and make a presentation on it. So what do you do? Let's say the PDF is McKinsey Technology Trends Outlook 2022. It's a long PDF, but we are going to copy the URL and we are going to give it to link reader. Please extract the key insights from this PDF and get this link. So it's going to use the link reader plugin to analyze the PDF. And there you go. It's giving us the key points, the key takeaways from the PDF. How brilliant. Uh, there, there's another plugin that does this. It's called Chat with PDF. I've heard it's good. So you should try that out as well. But this is good. It's a long PDF and you get the key points right away. That wouldn't have been so apparent by just looking at it. So that's good. But what's the next? So we are going to look at show me diagrams and this is brilliant. So let's say you want to make a diagram about something. For example, using the show me plugin, please give me a diagram of Apple's growth as a company with important milestones. So let's see what it gives us. So what it's going to do is it's going to do some quick research and it's going to use the mermaid language to create a diagram for us. So as you can see, they've created a diagram. So Apple's growth as a company through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and of course, the 21st century. So founded by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. Apple goes public. Introduction of Macintosh. Steve Jobs returns to Apple, introduction of the iMac, introduction of the iPod, the iPhone, the App Store. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, until 2020, Apple Silicon, I'm guessing that's the M1 chip. So that's nice, and you can make changes to this diagram. So, think about how revolutionary ChatGPT is with these plugins. So, like, if you're a student and you want to create diagrams to learn better, you're a marketer and you want to make a marketing plan uh, and you want to use di diagrams, instead of spending hours making it yourself, you could ask ChatGPT to do it for you. Not only th that, before that, you can ask it to browse the internet and find the data, the information that'll help you do that so that's groundbreaking speaking of groundbreaking research 
Let's see what ChatGPT can do with this plugin. It's called Wolfram Alpha. So it's the smart plugin. It's supposed to be able to give you real time data about important things or facts, figures. It's also able to do advanced calculations, complex math, all those things. So we are going to use the Wolfram Alpha plugin to explain scientifically and in detail the cabbage plant using the Wolfram Alpha plugin. So it's a pretty basic prompt but Wolfram Alpha is going to do wonders with a prompt as small as that. So it gives you the scientific name, lifespan, image, distribution across North America, visual representation of its distribution in North America, and visual representation of the taxonomic network. This is very interesting. So using this plugin as a student or as a researcher could be a game changer. Wow. Give me some more in-depth research about this plant and other plants in the family. Explain the origins. So I think it's better to combine Wolfram Alpha with WebPilot. So combining a lot of these plugins depends on your creativity, but it's like tapping into different brains, different experts, and having them all in your computer. But this is brilliant. So let's say you're writing a blog article about this topic. Write me an interesting blog article about this plan using information from Wolfram Alpha. And this in tandem with WebPilot. Now that's going to be a game changer. But, uh, but this is very interesting and it reads so smoothly. It, it reads like butter. And that's because it's GPT-4. The language that it uses is a lot better than the previous model. Well, that's nice. And you can keep modifying this and ask it to make it more, uh, make it a lot simpler. Explain it to me like on five. Uh, there are no limits. So next up, we are going to cover a very interesting plugin. It's called Diagram. Please note the spelling here. But essentially, it helps you plot graphs, pie charts, bar graphs, any of those things. Diagrams. So, first, we're going to use WebPilot, Wolfram, and this together. So, let's see. Give me a diagram. Oh, sorry, give me a diagram of the GDP of the Nordic countries in a pie chart using the diagram login. Use WebPilot or Wolfram to find the information. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's using WebPilot. That's nice. So, okay, now it's using Wolfram to find the GDP of Denmark and the other countries. So, as you can see, it doesn't do it all at once. It breaks it down into different tasks. And that's what makes computers so powerful. That's what makes tools like this so powerful. 
and fast. So I'm sure they'll be a lot faster in the coming months. This feature's just been out for like a month or two, I think. So now it's creating a pie chart representing the GDP of the Nordic countries. Wow, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. So there you go, like ChatGPT can create pie charts for you. That's nice, that's really nice. It can do the research, tabulate the data, turn it into diagrams. That is brilliant. So the next tool that we're gonna look at, the next plugin is Prompt Perfect. So this plugin is used to rephrase your prompts. So as you may already know, the output of a program is only as good as the input. So if your prompt is garbage, then ChatGPT is gonna come up with garbage. So to ensure that your prompt is high quality, we're gonna use this plugin. So to activate this plugin, you're supposed to use the word perfect before your prompt. So perfect, write a poem about orange juice in the summer. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna activate the prompt perfect plugin and it's gonna turn my prompt into a better prompt. See? And now you have a nice poem. So you can do this for anything. So pretty much any prompt, especially if you're creating content, it would be nice to use this plugin first. Next up, we have the Scholar AI plugin. And this is special because it has access to over 40 million research papers, high quality research papers. So let's say you're doing research on Web3. So give me the top research papers on Web3 and explain the key insights from each of them. And it's going to use the Scholar AI plugin to give me the answer. So brilliant just wow so if you're a researcher analyst or even an entrepreneur and you're looking for different ideas different research papers you really want to get into the details but this plugin lets you find the best research papers about any topic and it gives the links so i just showed you some plugins but the real magic happens when you start combining, mixing, and matching these plugins and using them in your workflow. And that's the real game changer. So with that said, this episode has come to a close. I enjoyed sharing my favorite ChatGPT plugins with you. But if you think I've missed something or if you think there's a plugin that I should really review on another episode, please leave a comment. I like to think that these plugins are like superpowers for ChatGPT, helping you through your daily battles at work. Whether you're a professor, a student, an entrepreneur, a small business owner, no matter who you are, AI is changing the way we work, changing lives, and by engaging with our community, by subscribing to our channel, you'll be able to access greater levels of productivity. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.